guys, it's the Intel YouTuber with my dad. And today we're going to be messing with these stuff that I don't know. But he is going to teach me how to do it. <laughs> okay. So, do you remember about a month ago yeah. we cut bottles? Yeah, we were like, we got this and, we were, and then we... We put the bottle on there. Yeah, and then we sliced. And we turned it, right? Yeah, and we turned it and then it sliced. And then the bottle cut off. Yeah. Right, made cups and things. Yeah. Yeah. I think you should go get one and show it for like an example. We're going to do it again? Okay. Maybe later. So, in the kit from uh, Home Pro, they had an actual glass cutter that you could use for mirrors or stained glass or whatnot. Um, and it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a little better than what you get at a store. You know, you go down to the hardware store and just get a glass cutter. This has got a reservoir in it for cutting oil. It's got a little spring-loaded valve in it. So as you cut, it'll, it'll leak oil into it, okay? Kind of like one of those paint pins you shake up. So cutting oil, Home Pro Shop has some cutting oil here. Traditionally, people that cut glass for a living, like stained glass, you see stained glass at church or whatnot, where they got the pictures, or mirrors. Um, people that do that stuff for a living or for crafts, they use cutting oil on their blades because it makes the blades last longer. Right? Makes the blades cut a little better. Do you remember when we cut it? It goes creak, creak, creak because it was cutting. Do you remember that? You don't? Because that was like a month ago. That's what I Ugly. Ugly remembers. Okay, so anyway, um, they're cutting all here. It's like eleven ninety five or something, prime shipping. So traditionally they use um, kerosene. Because she's like gas, so it smells bad, right? And if you're using stained glass and you're using a torch or whatnot, you don't want to use flammable stuff. Do you want to light gas? No, not in our house. No. So if kerosene don't work, they start using um, mineral oil. Mineral oil. But uh, this is a proprietary blend of fatty acids and whatnot. The Amazon description will show you what it is. But I want to show you about actually putting it in the cutter. So the cutter has a screw off at the back. It's got a little uh, O-ring so that it doesn't leak out because you don't want oil leaking out, do you? What would happen if oil leaked out? Will Mama get mad? Um, yeah. Like, if, for example, if it, like, spilled on the floor... Even on Ugly and the cat, he would be like... Yeah. <laughs> right? Will Mama do that? Yeah. So I've found that if you unscrew the top, the hole's bigger. Right? Can you hold this up? And the kit comes with an old dropper. But I, I, I use a syringe, right? I got a little medicine dropper here I got from the pharmacy. Um... I just find it to be a little easier. Hey, would that like burn your skin? I bet it would. It looks like it will. Hold it up. We'll put oil in it. Oh. Hold that up. Oh, oh, oh. Hold, hold it up. Okay, you got it? Mm -hmm. You got to hold it. Ready? Look at that. We put oil in there. All right? Can I smell it? Now... Ugh. It smells kind of bad. It smells we really should be smelling chemicals. That's a bad habit. <laughs> Silly boy. <laughs> yeah. You, know. you so did anyway. not tell me that those were chemicals, but let's see how it goes, guys. You can, uh, you know, press on it. The oil will come out. And then you can just regular, just cut it with the blade like you okay, would. Daddy. You do it, and I'll close my eyes, and I'm, and when you say three, two, one, I'll uh, right. uh, open See? my eyes. See that cut? It cut just like the cutter. Cool. That looks just like a cutter. It's like a cutter, but it's just all rinsing, and it cuts it. It does. It's not squeaking as much as we did it last time. Yeah. And this isn't what you're supposed to do. This is for flat, but I don't have any flat glass right now. And I wanted to show you this right quick. All right? Did you hear it not squeak? Yeah. yeah. Um, when it put this like on here. Have broken, and let's see if it's chunk. All right? 
Yeah, see how it squeaks? Yeah, see how it squeaks, guys? Like. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that old quick thing right quick and talk about this cutting all. I'll put a link in the video description and I'll do a, a write-up about traditional cutting holes on the website. So. Daddy, at the end of the video, let's do a funny face, okay? All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> All right, bye.